Yo, yeah. give, give me one second, okay? No worries. I'll call you back. I'm just doing a video. Okay. Okay. I, I just wanted, okay, bye. I'll call you back. Fighting Therapist here and for today's video I got you guys a, another circuit workout to try at home just to switch things up a bit. So before we jump into the video guys don't forget to please subscribe hit that notification bell so you guys do know when these videos come up and as well don't forget to like this video the more likes I get the more people can view it and then the more people get a chance to actually see the workout and then they could try it at home like I said just to switch things up again at home with some different workout styles. So the basis of this workout is to mix a little bit of some aerobic work or anaerobic work and then tie in some resistance training work. So we're gonna hit our whole body. So we're gonna get upper body chest, we're gonna get our back, lats, shoulders, legs, calves. Every muscle group is gonna be targeted within this workout, as well as our cardiovascular system, which just makes this a really simple way to get in both strength training and aerobic training mix them together. The whole workout takes about 30 minutes. Each round you will be doing twice and each round is three minutes long, taking a 45 second work ratio and a 15 second rest ratio. There's gonna be three different circuits that you're gonna do each circuit first for about six minutes, then you're gonna do the next one for six minutes, then you're gonna do the last one for six minutes. When all that's done, you guys are gonna take one to two minute break and then you're gonna blast off with the finisher. For the finisher, I'm gonna give you guys two options. You could choose pretty much what you want or what you have. For fighters, I would do moderate to high intensity shadow boxing. That includes uh, practicing your double legs, single legs, shadow boxing, Muay Thai, knees, kicks, everything like that. You're gonna be doing that for 45 seconds and then for 15 seconds, you're gonna blast as many sprawls as you can, as fast as you can. For people that aren't really fighters, just just individual people or just normal people that don't fight. You guys can either skip some rope, you can run on place. You know when you watch football players that are running on place, you can do that for 45 seconds. If you have a treadmill at home, a bike, anything like that, anything that's gonna allow you to do cardio, you'll do that for, for about 45 seconds and then you're gonna blast out 15 seconds of a burpee but no push-ups. So you're just gonna come down and come up, come down and come up. So you don't have to sprawl, you can just come down and come back up. Now for the finisher, I did about 10 rounds. You guys could really decide how much you'd like to do and the alluded time that you have. I'm assuming that a majority of you have certain, pretty much a lot of time <laughs> with what's going on. So I would do anywhere between five to 10 rounds of this. So that would be a total of 10 minutes finisher or a five minute finisher or in between then, but definitely at least five minutes for the finisher. Now remember guys, a finisher is a great way to add in um, your work capacity. So we're slowly adding in little things at the end of our workouts so that during the weeks and days that pass by, if we accumulate that, we're slowly adding more and more and more, teaching our body to handle more stress gradually, not at like a forceful one-shot deal. We're slowly allowing our body to work up the ability to recover while we're providing it with more stimuli. So the first exercise, you guys are doing a bear crawl. Now to engage your core more, you're gonna wanna be a little bit elevated off the ground. And this is a really, it's a burner man, especially if you're giving it all you can. Well, it's a great exercise to get isometric work in, concentric work in, and eccentric work in while also putting the body and the whole system together, causing it to contract, cause that tension. So we're learning how to brace while we're moving. Next drill is gonna be fast feet. So I didn't have a box. You guys don't need a box. You could grab a Kleenex or you could just pretend that you have a little box that's slightly elevated and you're gonna pretend that your knees are coming up on the box and your toes are tapping and you're coming down. You're, the goal here is speed. So we're trying to come up, down, up, down, up, down as fast as we can. The next one is gonna go into the muscle that we're trying to contract on this one. So we're going for our lats. A lot of people working on a lot of pulls horizontally and vertically, uh, vertically and horizontally, but no one is really focusing on what the lats also do, which is shoulder extension coming backwards. So in this one, I've done in a previous video, you're gonna put your knees on the towel, you're gonna reach back as far as you can, put those lats on a stretch, and then you're gonna contract them just as if you're in the gym doing a straight arm lat pull down. Circuit number two, this one is gonna be uh, up and over on a bench. So again, a lot of cardio and we're working on plyo at the same time, maintaining our core nice and tight, making sure we don't arch. The shoulders are nice and extended while the scapulas are placed in a nice retracted and depressed position and we're jumping up, up, up. Again, pretend if you have a stool, pretend if you have something that you can do this with. 
I don't have anything, I just grabbed a chair, a little towel because I was sweating on it, and we're just jumping back and forth. Right after that, you're gonna go for ladder drills laterally. So now we're trying to work more on a different plane of motion here. So we're just gonna be up and over as fast as we can. I did this in another, another video with toilet paper. Again, I didn't have toilet paper, I was too lazy to grab it. So just pretend, go up and over as fast as you can to the right, and then same thing, up and over as fast as you can to the left. Now for the muscle that we're trying to hit now, is gonna be chest and core at the same time, and we're doing strict push-ups. So we're coming all the way down, making our chest touch the towel, all the way back up. As we come up, we're rotating as if we we're in a side plank position, causing a lot of isometric holding and stability due to the rotation that we're doing, due to putting the shoulder in a nice place position. So the scapula has to activate, our core has to activate, our glutes have to activate because we're in that side plank position. Coming right back down, chest straight to the gown, all the way up, lift up, other side. For circuit three, we're doing alternating step up cross. So this is getting a little bit more activation of the glutes because we're crossing over. If you do have like a box at home, this would be a lot better. I'm showing you guys that I don't have a box at all. Yes, the step isn't too high. That's why I'm going a little bit lower into the movement, but this is what you wanna do. Next one is gonna be plyo reverse lunge. Now this one is a big killer after we just did the step up crossovers and we're working really on stepping back, coming down. As you can see in the video, I'm bringing my knee as low as I can where I don't feel like I'm slowing down the movement because this is a plyo exercise. So I'm trying to go down and explode as fast as I can. In my fighting stance, I would never go that low. So that's why you see me going as low as I need to to get that explosive movement to continue. So I'm making it more sport specific towards me. Now for the last one, it's gonna be an easy snatch. I grabbed a 15 pound dumbbell. You guys could grab pretty much anything in your house that's roughly 10 or 15 pounds. Or if you have heavier, that's even better. And for the for the first round, so because you're doing this twice, so for the first round, you're gonna do only your right side, and then when you do that again, you're gonna do only your left side. Now, for the finisher, once that 45 second mark hits, I go sprawl as fast as I can, and I finish off, and that's the end of the workout. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you thought down below. Let me know if you gave it a try. Let me know what you switched. Let me know if you have any questions when it comes to the exercise, or any questions that you may have when it comes to working out at home. If you did stay all the way to the end, click that like button so that you can see more of these and more people get a chance to see it. Share with a friend, do anything. Keep moving guys, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's your boy, that's exact punch, headbutt, elbow.